fucking go! Let's fucking go. What is going on, everyone? Mr. Mom Collectibles. I am back for another Hot Toys 1 6 scale figure preview video, and it has begun. We got the first figure announcement from the upcoming Deadpool Wolverine movie, and it is none other than the man himself, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Now, this is one that has been highly anticipated from many collectors, even more so that those who were interested in the Days of Futures past Wolverine pulled off that figure altogether, hoping that they would get a classic blue and yellow comic inspired version of wolverine and here we go we got two versions a collector's and a deluxe we're really just going to focus in on the deluxe and i'll just kind of tell you the difference between them it is currently up for pre-order but i also want to talk about that if you haven't pre-ordered yet don't do so until you watch the end of this video because i want to talk about the pricing because uh so we're, we're going to get into that but right off the bat these photos came out early this morning. I was going to record this video earlier in the morning, but I wanted to wait until we got pricing, and I'm glad I did. So basically, figures out screen accurate collectible figures crafted based on the appearance of Wolverine portrayed by Hugh Jackman features a newly developed masked head sculpt with interchangeable lower face showcasing different expressions, a highly poseable muscular body, arms made in silicone material with seamless elbow design, carefully tailored costume that replicates his battle outfit, multiple interchangeable hands attachable bladed claws for additional posing the deluxe version includes additional accessories for his alternate look including an unmasked head sculpt a pair of interchangeable sleeved arms and a set of battle damaged body armor pieces so let's just jump right into it so the presence of this figure is just amazing now i gotta say so many people out there put off versions of wolverine i think hot toys checked all the boxes in giving you what i hope it is that everyone wanted comic book origin blue and yellow wolverine check in, in a hugh jackman style wolverine check the closest that we ever got to this in you know cinema version was a deleted scene from the wolverine at the end when he was on the airplane and opened up the briefcase and you saw a version of the classic helmet or mask that's the closest we ever even got to hugh jackman in that suit and so when we saw the trailers for this people went insane and then from a hot toy standpoint people were really hoping that we would get something i know the initial look that we received was with the sleeves and people were really hoping that they would give us the sleeveless look as well so we have different options to complete the wolverine you know attire so like i said the figure looks fantastic i think the presence of it looks really great the colors pop i have no complaints about this the body proportions look awesome they're just replicating some of the poses that is done you know throughout and right here so we see this this, this was the very first tease you had the shoulder pads and you had the long sleeves. And I remember that was one of the very first promo images that came out of him walking with Deadpool, like out in the middle of a surrounding area. And people were really, you know, not concerned, but questioning, like, will we get more of a classic look, the mask and things? And sure as hell we are. Um, in terms of any type of trailers, we haven't seen him with the mask on yet, but obviously we might see it. So the sculpt itself, uh, they've done many versions of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in the past. I think this is the one that's finally nailed it. I think the sculpt looks utterly fantastic. The rolling eyeball system is a plus. You know, for me, I was never a fan of purrs, nor did I really care about it. But I do now after seeing a lot of figures in hand, it does bring another layer of realism to a head sculpt. And when it doesn't have purrs, I think the sculpt suffers a lot. So that being said, the purse just gives another added level of realism and also that facial expression, kind of like that ready to go when he said, let's fucking go. That kind of that's what that grisly kind of look has. And I know sometimes with half open expressions, Hot Toys kind of hits or, you know, miss or hits with it. Um, this one is uh, it's on point. Hair looks great. And they're showing you three different styles. So if you're an army builder, you very well can be army building Wolverines. You have the version with the shoulder pads and sleeves completely torn off. Or you can go classic where it's shoulder pads and no sleeves, which this is obviously arguably the most iconic comic book version of it. And then you see these all these versions you can have. So you can mix and match with this character. So it's really awesome. So the other thing which is cool is that you do get the battle damage plates. So you can do a clean or battle damaged. In my opinion, I don't think Hot Toys needed to do two SKUs. This is one where I kind of find a hard 
a hard rationalization of not going deluxe. I feel like it's really deluxe or nothing on this one, just because it offers so much shitty hexagon base there. You know, nothing special there. They really obviously put all the work into the figure and give you a shitty base, but everything really does look awesome on this piece. It really does. Now let's break down what it actually does come with these photos just they look badass like here this is my thumbnail this looks like a movie still like with the logo in the background on the thumbnail if you look at it it looks look huge acting looks like a movie still and so it just looks ridiculous these these poses just like i just can't wait and so i'm super excited for this uh for me personally i'm gonna pre-order two deluxe figures for the reason that i'm gonna have one um with the head sculpt on and I'm going to have one with the mask on, which gives me an extra Hugh Jackman head sculpt, which I'm going to update my Days of Futures Past Wolverine and give that one a facelift. But as you can see here, the Deluxe comes with everything. But with the Deluxe itself, you're getting the additional head sculpt, the interchangeable sleeves, and the battle damage plates. If you opt to get the Collector's Edition, you get everything below here. You get no head sculpt, no, no additional sleeves. And so... I, I just think that it makes sense to go deluxe. Now, in terms of the pricing, this is what I want to get into about this video. This is why I didn't do the video right away. Uh, expected to ship April 25 to September 25. The, the uh, collector's edition is $280 before tax and shipping, and the deluxe is $340, which I think is an atrocious price. Here's the reason why. So you get it from Sideshow. 340 you have to pay tax and shipping uh for me i already calculated it this figure would be roughly around 387 out the door with tax and shipping if i was to go through sideshow now i do plug him quite a bit often uh jeremy casa over at plastic hero collectibles he gets a lot of day one stuff hot from hong kong so he's a great source and so he will always put up pre-orders as well oftentimes with pre-orders they're typically about 70 to 100 dollars over sideshow pricing OK, because you're paying day one to get them sooner versus you save some money and you wait for SciShow. And so I don't day one a lot of stuff ever, really, just because I'd rather save money. But I notice here first first uh, pre order alert, Hot Tools, Deadpool, uh, Hot Toys, Deadpool, Wolverine first batch. Uh, this is the deluxe. So first batch, 175 A, uh, AUD and RD. It's always in Australian. Uh, Jeremy is from you know Australia, so he all his currencies in AUD. And a $500 AUD is the figure. It translates to $330 US uh, shipping and balance due on release. Now, the $330 is before tax and shipping. I'm sorry, just shipping. There's no tax. So $330 compared to $340. So Sideshow with me was around $380. Even if Jeremy charged me $50 for shipping, just, I, I, you know, whatever the ship, it's still $50. That's still $380. That's pretty much the same price as Sideshow, and you're getting day one. Like, even if the shipping was $70, you know, or, or, or $60, that's still $390. Okay, you're talking $10 more. I just told you typically day one is anywhere between $75 to $100 more. We're literally talking about $20, bucks, $30. Bucks. So for the difference of, I mean, I'm getting mine day one through Jeremy. Jeremy, if you're watching this video, yeah, hold them for me because I'm going to get them for you. So for me, I think it's stupid not to do it this way. And even if you're spending just a little bit more money, yeah, get it day one. Why not? Just get it. Because the thing with Sideshow, if it was guaranteed or you could figure out the the the, the routine that, you know, you're going to get it like 30 days later, then I'd say, okay, no problem. But the way Sideshow's operating right now, you have no idea when you're getting your stuff. It could be months, two, three months. So for that amount of money that you're paying, which is nothing, it makes sense for me, at least. Why not go day one? I don't day one everything. And I'm not telling everyone to day one everything because normally, like I said, day ones are usually at least $100 more. You're going to go broke doing that. But in this case, the pricing of $340, which for me ends up being around $387, and then $330, and even if the shipping is $50, bucks, you know, $380 bucks to get it day one. So I just want to put that out there for you guys. Um I will drop his information in the description to this video. If you are interested in hitting up Jeremy, PO close date is on 617. So he will close these up and then they'll be done. Um, I believe he does have, um, I don't see him posting the regular yet. It's just the deluxe right now. 
Uh, so, I mean, but the, the Lux right there, like I said, he'll probably put the regular one up later. These just started going up a few hours ago from me making this video, but I think it's a hell of a price just for a day one. But let me know what you guys think overall about this figure. Drop a like on the video. Please consider subscribing. Like I said, it's an awesome looking piece. I really think that if this is the last Wolverine that we get, I do think there's going to be other versions of characters from this movie. We might, you know, there's still two SKUs on the coming soon for Deadpool. So I'm assuming a regular and a deluxe also. But for those who really wanted, I, I think this checked off all the boxes, to be honest with you. Like I said, yellow, yellow and blue, Hugh Jackman, uh, sleeveless, shoulder pads, the claws. And the claws don't look like they're die cast, but they do look like there's some kind of chrome plated. I, I read the description um, here and it's not giving you details of the claws, but the claws look like they're chrome plated like the Chrome Mando. So, I mean, that's good enough for me. But I like this whole attachable claws situation because the claws are coming out um, through the knuckles, like in the comic versus through. It looks like, like you said, you can detach them and, and have something, you know, different kind of style to that. And it's partially because of the way the suit is, how the claws are coming up through the uh, top of the knuckles versus through the knuckles, which is how it always was previously in movies. And so that gives you the, you know, Hot Toys a different design to do that. Now, I want to... Um, now, I just want to end the video here. This is actually the sculptor who did the figure. And so I just want to, like I said, just show you guys these natural photos. I love looking at these photos because they really look like they're done naturally in the studio with really minimal uh, photoshopping. And it just looks unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable, this sculpt. And if you're curious, I always like the idea of seeing who does what. If you actually look back at the artist who did the Wolverine, I just want to give you guys an idea of what... Uh, pieces that they're credited for you know darth maul the han solo the mark ii you can see all the figures here on their instagram that they were credited with working on so this uh sculptor definitely has a repertoire of some amazing pieces but like i said let me know what you guys think drop a like on the video please consider subscribing and until then this is mr mom collectibles saying take care and i will see you guys in the next video acknowledge me